Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part 14 of our series testing for ethanol content in super unleaded petrol. This video is just going to be a quick one revisiting SO Synergy Supreme 99 as we did recently with Shell V Power and I'm looking to retest these two brands every six months. Just a note here, this fuel was purchased on the same day I did the V-Power test, so it will be closer to five months from this video when we do our fourth test of each petrol, hoping that they remain ethanol free for many years to come. As with all these tests, I'm adding 300 millilitres of water to 700 millilitres of the test petrol. Pouring through like this gives us near instant results, which I'll be demonstrating again in the next video that I'll upload immediately after this one, when we see how much ethanol is really in Jets E10, and then I prove that the ethanol has been completely extracted from that fuel afterwards. Once the separation line settles, if it's on 300 millilitres, then no ethanol has been drawn into the water and the petrol is ethanol free. E5 will read 335 millilitres and E10 will be at 370 mil. Using 700 millilitres of petrol means 1% will add 7 millilitres to the level, so by simply using the 7 times table we know that 2% adds 14 millilitres, 3% adds 21 mil, and so on. This will be detailed in the next video when we have an ethanol blend, as we see the separation line as usual on the 300 millilitres mark. I'll leave it for an hour as per the previous tests, although it's never shown to make any difference, even to the ethanol containing fuels that we've tested. Back an hour later we can see no change as expected and we can confirm that SO Supreme is still thankfully ethanol free, at least in the south of England excluding Devon and Cornwall. Although this result is desirable it's also repetitive which is why I decided to try another control test on a known ethanol blended 95 octane fuel with the E10 label. This is also because I wanted to do a mileage comparison now that I have a modern petrol car to test an E10 fuel versus the Shell V power it normally runs on. And I'm also going to compare how a few super unleaded's uh, and the ethanol blends affect various metals, plastics, rubber and silicon, as well as how well each dissolve engine, sludge, carbon deposits and rust. Don't forget to subscribe to see these tests as I upload them, and please also check out the Jet E10 video that I'm uploading momentarily. Thanks very much for watching. Help deal with the effects of high inflation and economic recession by signing up to Nexo. Nexo is an alternative banking platform who offer a debit card that pays 2% cash back on all purchases with no fees. You can buy, sell, borrow and earn both fiat and cryptocurrencies as well as get $25 worth of Bitcoin using the link in the description below.